here it is guys finally inside this packaging is my first 144 hertz high refresh rate monitor um i've been waiting for this for a few weeks now and it's one of the reasons why i haven't been uploading because i didn't have a monitor i sold my last monitor so in this video we're going to be unboxing this monitor and i'm going to be testing out 144 hertz for the first time ever in my life so I got this monitor off of Eve Tech. It sent me back about 3,500, excluding shipping. It took about three days to arrive or so. And this is me dropping it. Whoops, I'm already breaking it. There are multiple videos out there of people testing if there's a big difference between um, 60 hertz and 144 hertz. This video is really just my personal perspective on how I experienced the transition from a low refresh rate to a high refresh rate. Oh my God. Yes. Now the monitor you're looking at is the LG Ultra Gear 24 GN600 24 inch 1920 by 1080p gaming monitor. It's got a 144Hz refresh rate with a claimed 1 millisecond response time. It's got AMD FreeSync Premium and it's got very thin bezels which I like about it. It's got some red accents which look nice and glossy. It also covers 99% of the sRGB color gamut. It's also got HDR10. All right, so I actually have another surprise for you guys. Um, it's right up here. So on top of getting a new uh, monitor, I got myself a new graphics card. This is the RTX 3060. So I'm gonna be quickly throwing it in my system. My system's kind of dirty because it hasn't been used in like a month. All right, let me get to building. Now, um. I've got to be honest with you guys, I've actually already unboxed it. When I got it, I just couldn't wait to open it up. This is a second-hand card. I got it second-hand off Facebook Marketplace. Interesting story. I actually bought two graphics card cards. Uh, first one, uh, I got scammed. I'm going to upload a video on that uh, at a later stage, around next week. So, I'll tell you that story. Yeah, I got scammed, and then I decided to buy another one. And this is it. This is the Eno 3D RTX 3060. If you're ever upgrading your GPU from a different GPU, make sure you install the appropriate drivers for your new GPU, just to ensure that all the games run smoothly. It's especially the case if you're going from maybe a Radeon GPU to a NVIDIA GeForce GPU, because the drivers are, are completely different. So this is the build in all its glory, along with the setup. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, so here we are. Uh, I think I'm just gonna switch over to my desktop microphone, but I need to log into my computer first. Here we are on the desktop. Um, I've actually recorded this about three times now, but my video got corrupted, so yeah, it's kind of getting boring now. So. Out of the box, the monitor was already set to 144 hertz, and the screen actually looks very vibrant. It looks incredibly, you know, sharp. It almost looks like 1440p, but it is indeed 1080p. Um, I'm about to run a few games now. I'm gonna do 10, uh, 60 hertz versus uh, 144 hertz, and see if I can actually tell the difference. I know I will, but just for the fun of it. All right, here we are on Rocket League. I'm gonna turn down. Um, the quality to 60 frames yeah it's already on 60 frames turn this up to 1080p apply it feels a lot more responsive even on 60 hertz and much more brighter and sharper than uh the other 1080p panel i had this definitely is a gaming display it feels much more responsive it feels like my inputs are being captured sooner now this is a game that I have many hours in, so I'd be able to tell if it's a lot smoother. Alright, uh, now I'm about to do uh, 144 hertz, see if I can tell the difference. Alright, and apply. 
Oh yeah, I can definitely tell the difference. There's a little bit of a weird m motion blur. I can't tell whether it's motion blur or it's just that the display is like incredibly smooth. I think motion blur is on because it feels a little bit, um, let's see, is motion blur on? No, it's not on. Okay. I don't know, maybe it just takes a while to get used to, but it almost feels like there's some weird motion blur. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm going to be testing out Days Gone. Uh, this is one of my favorite games. It's a, it's a single player game. First, I'm going to be testing it out at 60 hertz, and then I'm going to switch out, switch over to its maximum refresh rate. I think the 3060 can pu can push about 100 frames or so. So we'll see if I can tell the difference. All right, so here we are in the game. Days gone. It looks much more clearer and sharper than on my last display, and I think it's currently at 60 hertz. So I'm just gonna walk around a bit. The game looks incredible. It really does. It looks very, very amazing. All right, this is 60 hertz. Just gonna hop on my bike. All right, let's get into some combat. I forgot how to play this game. I haven't played in so long. Uh, I'm just gonna switch over to the maximum refresh rate and see if I can tell the difference. Um, yes. Yep, I can definitely tell the difference. It looks much more smoother. And now I've got a goddamn. Jesus Christ. All right, yeah, it does look a lot smoother than it was on 60 Hertz. A much more enjoyable experience. It's not as easy to tell as as compared to Rocket League. Uh, probably because uh, the game's running at like 100 frames right now. Let me just make sure. Yeah, it's running at around about 100 frames. Let me turn it down to low preset yep and it looks even more smooth i went on to test a few other games like cyberpunk fortnite and other games i play and my impressions are still the same 144 hertz is much smoother than uh, 60 hertz especially in your competitive game it also feels like there's much less input lag making you feel like you're actually like immersed in the game and engaged even just scrolling through the desktop on its own feels much more responsive and I wouldn't say it made my video editing and general computing tests like a hundred times better but when I do switch back to 60 Hertz it feels a little bit stuttery so it's hard to go back but if you enjoyed the video just let me know I'll try to make more videos like this in the future if you guys like them and also check out my other videos they'll be right on your screen